Hello, good evening. Good evening. Hello, Mercedes. How are you? Fine. You're fine. Okay, so I can see that we have Katia, we have Mario, we have Edwin, we have Diego, let me see, we have George. Okay, so you are, yeah, they are connecting. So good evening, guys. Good evening, uh, George, Katia. Mercedes, can you hear me? Yeah. Good evening. Good evening. Okay. So, yes, okay. Um, all right, thank you. All right, guys. Um, so Mario, are you there? Daniela, Katia, Edwin. Present. Hello, Mario. He hello, good evening. Good evening, Katia. Edwin, are you there? Daniela? No. All right, guys. Um so let me share my screen. So we are going to start in a minute. Give me one second. Okay. So welcome once again. So we are going to have our class number 10, right? And we are going to start with the following guys. So we have today's agenda. For today's agenda, we have the warm up. We have unit nine. Today we are going to still cover unit nine. And we are going to also learn new vocabulary. We also have the grammar part. And for the grammar part, we are going to use simple present tense review. So today we are going to start by talking about the class that um, we still have for yesterday. And then we are going to move to a speaking time, okay? So remember that this unit is called Broccoli is good for you. And that is the name of the unit. Then guys, we are going to start by reading a little bit about Sam and any. Yeah, so we have Sam and any. Do you remember what we covered yesterday? Do you remember the topic that we covered yesterday? Which was the topic guys that we covered yesterday? Mm -hmm. Which was the topic? Jordan? And, and. Ah, and, and, very good. What else did we cover yesterday? Mm -hmm. What else? No, you don't remember? Countable, um, countable, countable and uncountable. And uncountable. Very good. So countable and uncountable. Then, guys, we have some and we have any. Those two help us to talk about countable and uncountable nouns. So, uh, Cindy, can you please help us reading some, all of this? All of this, Cindy. Okay. And some, we use some with af affirmative sentences with bad countable and uncountable nouns. And examples, they are some potatoes, they are some water. Oh, okay, there is. Uh -huh. uh, we use uh -huh. some and see what? See? Yes, 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 continue, continue. Okay, uh, we use some in questions when we ask for things and offer things. Examples, can, can I have some water? Would you like some chips? Very good, thank you. Some guys, so this one is some. Yes, thank you, Cindy. So as Cindy said before, guys, we use some with affirmative sentences with both countable and uncountable nouns. Give me examples of countable. Give me examples. 
of countable nouns. Mm -hmm. Apples. Apples, very good. Bananas. Bananas, very good. Mango. Mangoes, very good. Uh -huh. Now, give me. Yes. En Aguilares está lloviendo bastante fuerte y no le escucho mucho. Ok, Fabiola. Thank you for letting me know. Ok, thank you, Fabiola. So, in this case, um, thank you, George. Ok, so give me examples of uncountable nouns. Give me examples. Give me examples. Milk, water, rain. Some milk. Water. Excellent. Thank you. All right, guys. So we use some with countable and uncountable with both. So we can say there are some potatoes. There is some water. There is some money. There are some oranges. There are some bananas yeah and so on yeah so in this case we also have any can you please help us uh reading any alexandra okay we use any with negative sentences with both countable and uncountable nouns examples we haven't got any bananas we have not got any bread we use any with both countable and uncountable nouns in questions. Examples, are there any tomatoes? Is there any meat? Very good, thank you. Guys, we can also use any, but in this case is with negative sentences. Look at this. We have some and some with affirmative, that means positive sentences, positive. And we also use any, but in this case with negative, negative sentences, yeah? We cannot use any with positive sentences. We use any with negative, yeah? And we have, we haven't got any bananas or we have not got any breads. Or we can say, we don't have any bread. We don't have any bananas, yeah? Then we also have the questions. So for the questions we have, are there any tomatoes? Is there any meat, yeah? So as you can see, we have any that is used for negative and we have some which is used for affirmative, positive sentences. Uh -huh. Yes. So now let's continue with more examples. Yeah. Some and any count and non count nouns. Okay. So let's see. Do we need any eggs? Yes, let's get some. No, we don't need any eggs. Hmm. Do we need any bread? Yes, let's get some bread. Or no, we don't need any bread. Remember, any with negative. Look at this. Some with positive. Mm -hmm. Then we also have what we covered yesterday. Count nouns. An egg, eggs, plural. A sandwich, sandwiches. Mm -hmm. Non count nouns, bread, lemonade, grain, sugar, salt, sand, hair, money, 
non count nouns, teacher, but it is not uncountable nouns. Yes. So we can say countable nouns or count nouns, or we can say non count nouns or uncountable nouns. And it is the same. It's the same name, okay? The same uh, grammar part. Yeah. Do you have any question till here? Do you have any doubt? Something that is not clear? Uh -huh. Es decir, teacher, que any solamente va a quedar para eh, decir como ya no tenemos ningún o como decir de acá ya se nos acabó o algo así. Correct. Yes. Eh, es como decir que no hay nada. We don't need any. Ninguno en este caso. Depende okay. de... Ajá, depende de la idea. Okay. Yes, that is correct. Uh -huh. Any other doubt that you may have? Uh -huh. ¿Cómo se traduciría la, la primera pregunta? Do we need any eggs? Necesitamos. Oh, yes, do we need any eggs? Necesitamos algunos huevos. Ah, uh, ok. Gracias. Yes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Do we need any eggs? Yes, let's get some. Or no, we don't need any. Uh -huh. um, okay, let's complete the conversation with some or any. Remember, for a negative, any. For a positive, some. Number one, Amanda, the store doesn't have any potato salad. Adam, well, we have lots of potatoes. Let's make some. Some. Very good. Positive. Amanda, okay, do we have um, any? Any, um, this is the question, okay? This is question. the most common question, any, okay? Do we have any mayonnaise? Yeah, no, we need to buy? Some. Some, very good, okay? Um, we need? Some onions. Some onions Some. too, yes, because onions is plural, right? And it is positive. We need some onions, positive, okay, some. All right. Oh, I don't want? Any onions. Any, Any onions. I hate onions. onions. Uh -huh. You know, I when you want to say, cuando usted quiere decir, no quiero nada, pero nada de cebolla. I don't want any onions. I don't want any onions. Huh? Correct. Okay. Any onions, any garlic, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. Now, Amanda, let's get some. Some celery. Some celery. And what is the meaning of celery? Do you remember? Apple. 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 No, I don't want any some celery. Oh, no, I don't In want my potato any. Salad. Uh -huh. Any, okay? Nada. Any. I don't want any because it's negative. Mm -hmm. Negative. But let's put some. Some. Apple some. in it. Apples in potato salad? That sounds awful. Well, yes, right? Apples? That's the mean awful. Awful. Uh, awful? Terrible. Oh. Awful. That sounds no. awful. Eso suena como terrible o que no se le apetece a uno. Algo negativo. Awful, mm -hmm. feo, terrible. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good. Okay. So, do you have any questions till here? What's the mean some? Some uh, in Spanish. Algunos, yes. It could mean alguno, algunos, o algo de. And any? It's like uh, saying ninguno, ningún. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Okay. Any other doubt? Teacher, ¿podría volver a explicar cuando utilizamos some y cuando utilizamos any? Yes. 
And okay, so we need to use some, let me, yeah, move here. Okay, so we have some right here, guys. And some is for affirmative sentences. Some siempre va a ser para cosas positivas, para oraciones positivas, affirmative. And any will be for negative, para oraciones negativas. Como por ejemplo, tenemos, déjeme voy a borrar lo que vemos aquí. Ok, como por ejemplo, si se fija en esos, ejer esos ejercicios, tenemos, do we need any eggs? ¿Necesitamos algunos huevos? Porque si nosotros decimos, um, bueno, en español decimos, no necesitamos ningún huevo. ¿Se ha fijado que así decimos? El ningún. Entonces, sí. podríamos interpretarlo como ningún. Como decir, necesitamos, pero cuando lo traducimos es como necesitamos ningún huevo. Se escucha extraño, right entonces, lo decimos como necesitamos algún huevo. Pero también en español decimos, no necesitamos ningún huevo. ¿Verdad? Entonces, es como lo mismo en inglés. El any es como decir, depende de cómo usted... Mi internet falla, se quedó congelada mi pantalla. Ok. Edwin, sálgase y entre de nuevo. ¿Ok? Entonces, eh, creo que él me pidió que lo explicara de nuevo. Ok, bueno, eh, bien, en este caso, eh, do we need any eggs? Yes, let's get some. Entonces, some es para oraciones positivas. En any es para oraciones negativas. Por ejemplo, um, en este ejercicio que hicimos, ok. Si yo digo, yo no quiero nada, ninguna cebolla en mis tacos, ¿cómo lo puedo decir? No I don't quiero... want any onion uh -huh. in, in my it. salad. In my salad or in, in my salad. In oh. my salad, yes. Ok, in this case, very good. Cuando se quiere decir algo negativo, siempre va a ser any, de ningún, de nada. Yes. Por ejemplo, también podemos... Eh, Dar otro ejemplo, no quiero ningún, uh, vaya, no quiero ningún gato en la casa. I don't want any cat in my house. I don't want any cat in my house. Ahora positiva, quiero algunos gatos en mi casa. I want some cat in my house. I want some cats in my house, porque es positiva. Entonces, some es en un contexto positivo, en any es en un contexto negativo. Y ambos se, pu se pueden utilizar para contables e incontables, ambos. Por ejemplo, si yo quiero decir, no tengo nada de dinero. I don't have any money. I don't have any money. Y si yo quiero decir, tengo algo de dinero. I have some money. I have some money. ¿Sí? Entonces, some es para un contexto positivo. En any siempre va a ser para un contexto negativo. Y en este caso, si usted ve, formulamos preguntas con any. Pero la respuesta puede ser o positiva o negativa. Uh -huh. Yes. Entonces, eso sería. Do you have any other doubt? ¿Alguien tiene otra duda o pregunta? Any other question? No? Right. Okay. Let's move. Let's continue. Okay. So now we are going to move to the speaking time so we can practice. Today we are going to practice, porque en la semana no hemos practicado tanto speaking. Entonces ahora sí lo vamos a practicar. Vamos a practicar those cards, ¿ok? Who is your best friend? If you don't have, you can say, I don't have best friend. I don't have best friend, ¿ok? How often do you see him, her? Do you see him or her? I don't have best friend. 
No tiene, ok. Entonces, no tiene. Where does she live? I don't have best friend. Yeah. How does he or she help you? I don't have best friend. Animals. What is your favorite animal? Uh -huh. My favorite animal teacher is the dog, the cat, the butterfly, um, the birds, um, the snakes, the spiders, right? I don't know. And why do you like it? Oh, because they are, uh, they are lovely. They are funny. They are loyal. Loyal, fieles. Loyal. Yeah. Where does it live? Donde vive? Oh, well, in my house. Right. But let's say that you like, for example, sharks. What is the meaning of sharks? Tiburones. Right? Oh, no. Ocean sharks. Uh -huh. ocean? But they live in the ocean. Exactly. Oh, the ocean. Uh -huh. You see? And what does it eat and drink? Mm, well, shark. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yes, could be, right? But there a fish? Yes, but fish, maybe, right? So then, birthday. When is your birthday? How do, do you celebrate it? What presents do you like? Presents, regalos. Mm -hmm. Then, movies. Yes. Then seasons, what is it? Okay, who can tell me the four seasons of the year? Four seasons of the year? In Europe? No, no, those are months. Oh. Seasons. Ah, um, primavera, no. Uh -huh. Yes, but in English. Um, oh, summer. Summer. Summer, summer winter. Winter, um, spring, October, spring, spring, spring. primavera, spring, Jose, spring. yes, spring, uh -huh. fall, fall, okay, fall. lo cual es otoño, uh -huh. invierno, which, uh -huh. winter, invierno, winter, winter. Uh -huh. Okay, vocabulary, okay, vocabulario. Si no sabe algo, entonces pregúntemelo o búsquelo en eh, el traductor que le, que le envíe. Le envíe el traductor que quiero que utilicen. No. 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 Mire, le voy a mandar el traductor que usted debe de utilizar, no el de Google, okay? El de Google, no. This one. That one. Okay? De agua. Bye, guys. Entonces, vamos a practicar por unos 10 minutos. Ok, va a practicar con su compañero, pero quiero que esté hablando. Quiero que speak, speak, speak in English. Ok. Tome el screenshot a la pantalla. Si no tienen la clase abierta, tómele una foto. Para que tengan las, las preguntas. Yes. Ok. Dios. Yo tengo una duda. Yes. En la de, en la de escuela, la primera pregunta, ¿qué significaría? No le comprendo. Escuela. La de oh, mm -hmm. what is your favorite subject? Ah, ok. Materia. 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 Sí, ah, Liliana, okay. repita después de mí, diga school. School. Muy bien, yes. Subject means materia. Materia. Holiday, what's the mean? Oh, yes, holiday means a eh, festividad. Oh, festividad. Mm -hmm. Maybe okay. Christmas. Yes. Mm -hmm. Maybe Christmas. Halloween. Right? Halloween. Oh, my God. Yes, Halloween. ¿Cómo se diría Día de la Cruz? You can say, I think that May 3rd, right? In Mayo 3rd, es verdad. Sí. Y eso sí. puede decir como the cross day. Cross the cross day. day. Yes, en realidad eso es algo de acá, de nuestro país, bueno, de Latinoamérica, I think, right? El día de la cruz. Uh -huh. Ok, Bye. very good. So in this case, let's move and we are going to practice, ok? But I want you to speak. Quiero escuchar que está practicando. Aunque no sepa cómo se dice, entonces me pregunto. O si no, lo busco. Yes? So here we go.
Voy a, voy a compartir. Tomar la captura, ¿sí? No puedo compartir pantalla. O oh, bueno. Es aquí donde dice compartir pantalla abajo. En computador está. Sí, pero me sale como que la tengo deshabilitada. ¿Trate oh. ahora? Ah, ok, hoy sí. Ok. A ver, a ver. No, oh, no, eh, Chen. Ah, ok. Ahí están, ahí están, ahí están, ahí están. Yes. Ok. Ok. <ríe> All right. Yes. Bueno. Okay. Las pregunté y se me responde. Está bien. Ok. Who is your best friend? His name is Sophie. Mm -hmm. And you? And Seria, how often do you see him or her? Mm -hmm. I Uh, how often uh, do you see her, my best friend, once? I, I don't know, the uh, teacher, uh, una vez con cada tres meses, más o menos. Mm, okay, once every three months. Once every three months. Excellent. Where does he, she live? She live in San Salvador. How does he, she help you? Uh, she helped you? No, she helped me. I, I study in the university and and How do you say cualquier duda in English? Any doubt? Any doubt? Uh, it helped me and, and me. And... Mm -hmm. Vaya. Es que andaba adentro. Andaba atrás nomás. Lapicero. No sé si el otro participante nos puede escuchar. Ay, Carlos. Sí, sí. Ah, pues si gusta, le pregunto primero. Ah, ok. ¿Cómo es? Hello. Como vecinos. Neighbors. 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 Ah, neighbors. Um, Um, who does she help you? Eso qué significa, teacher? How does she help you? Yes. Mm -hmm. ¿Cómo ella lo ayuda? Si tiene mejor amigo, ¿cómo le ayuda su mejor amigo? Mm -hmm. ¿En qué le ayuda? Es buena consejera. ¿Cómo ah, se... Ok. So, you can say she is... Um, she is a good advisor. A good advisor. Advisor. Uh -huh. Advisor. Yes. Okay. Um, Maria? Um, bueno, a mí no es que me ayude en sí, en algo, porque... Es como que nos vemos así muy poco, pero es mi amiga. Ok. Sería como mmm, a pl platicar nada más de nuestras vidas, no sé, de nuestra semana, eh, mmm, como en el trabajo. To, mmm, I just talk to her. 
Solamente habla con ella. I just talked to her. I stopped to her. Yeah. I just. I just. I just stopped to her. Perfect. Uh -huh. Okay. All right. Uh -huh. okay. Um, animals. In animals? Uh -huh. where, what is your favorite animal? Um, my favorite animal is a cat. It's a cat. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And Jorge? And George? It's a cat too. I I celebrity and family. Okay. Uh, Where present do you live? I I choose. Uh, How many friends do you usually in between? My God, she's having issues. Uh, my family. Okay, let's go back to the main room, okay? Let's go back. Okay. Yes. Okay. So let me see. What is your favorite holiday, Mercedes? Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me? Yes. What is your favorite holiday? My favorite holiday is Merry Christmas. Oh, it's Christmas. Christmas. Okay. Christmas. Maria Vilma, what is your favorite holiday? I my favorite holidays um eh, como mi cumpleaños, mi oh. birthday. My birthday, okay. Oh my God, okay. What is your favorite music, uh, Daniela Lisbeth? Daniela, what is your favorite music? No, she's not there. Okay, Jonathan David, what is your favorite holiday? Jonathan? No? Oh my God. Cindy, what is your favorite holiday? My favorite holiday is Christmas. Christmas, okay, thank you. Manuel Alexander, what about you? What is your favorite holiday? My favorite holiday is Christmas. Christmas, okay. Thank you. Okay, guys, let's continue. I need two, well, three volunteers. I need three volunteers. I am. Me, me teacher. Okay, thank you. So, Carlos Israel, Jose, and I need one more. Carlos me, teacher. Saslo, okay, Edwin, I think. Sí, Edwin. Ok. Eh, Carlos Israel, please read the first paragraph. Ok. Then Jose, okay. the second paragraph. And then Edwin, the last paragraph. Tenga mucho cuidado con la pronunciación de la S. Mira, porque vamos a empezar a estudiar terceras personas. ¿Sí? Yes? Ok. Eh, <coughs> Doctor Box. Yes. Most people don't like bugs, yes. but Dr. Mark uh, Moffat loves them. 
in fact, his nickname is Dr. Books. He's a photographer and an entomologist. An entomologist studies bugs. Okay. Dr. Murphy's favorite book is The Ant. Uh -huh. He goes all over the world to study ants. He watches, they ask, they eat, work, rest, sleep, and fight. Mm -hmm. He takes photographs of the ants. He lives on, on the ground with his camera and waits um, for the right moment. Mm -hmm. The end and other bugs often bite him, mm. but that doesn't stop Dr. Bug. He has an interesting and um, unusual unusual job, and he's love it. Okay, thank you. Guys, okay, so first of all, what is the meaning of box? Insectos. Bichos, insectos. Insectos, yes. So it says that Dr. Box loves insects, loves bugs. Okay, that's why his nickname is Dr. Box. He is a photographer and an entomologist. An entomologist studies bugs. ¿Cómo se llama la persona que estudia los insectos? Entomologist. And in Spanish it's going to be entomólogo. Entomólogo. Entomólogo, ok. So, Dr. Moffat's favorite book is The Ant. He goes all over the world to study ants. So he loves ants, las hormigas. He watches them as they eat, work, rest, sleep, and fight. Mira, rest. la, la ve a hacer todo esto, descansar, rest. Descansar. Uh -huh. He takes photographs of the ants. He lies on the ground. Se recuesta, lies on the ground. Se, re, se re, recuesta en la tierra, sobre la tierra, on the ground, with his camera, and waits for the right moment. The ants and other bugs often bite him. ¿Qué significa bite? Morder. Yeah, but that doesn't stop Dr. Box. He has an interesting pronunciación interesting 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 excellent like that interesting and unusual and unusual job and he loves it yeah dr box now circle the correct form of the verb to complete each sentence okay let's work together number one which is the correct verb, love or loves? In this case, loves. 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 Third person, number two. Studies. Okay, pronunciation. Studies. 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 Number three. Sales. Sales. Number four. She uh, works. Work. 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 work or work. 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 Why work? Why? Why? Ellos. 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 Plural. Five. Nurse help. 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 Number six. We write. Right. 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 Very good. Number seven. Our Clouds. Close. 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 Mm, our. Office. Eat. 
Closes. Yes. Closes. Es una cosa. De Our, ¿qué significa afuera? Our office, no. Our office, nuestra oficina. Our, ah, uh, sí. Yeah. Us, no, es nuestro. Nuestro. Unos, uh, es como sí, nosotros, sí. pero es un object pronoun. No es un, no es un sujeto, sino oh. que es como nosotros. Yes. Pero no es como sujeto, es como un objeto. Oh. Mm -hmm. Number eight. She take or takes? Takes. Number nine. Your water. No, you water. And number ten. I start. Esa no es la start. I start. Okay, number ten. I start. Okay, very good. Any question? Preguntas? Questions? Doubts? No? Okay, let's move. Okay, grammar check. But this one, guys, this one is for you to work on your notebook. Ese sí quiero que usted lo haga. Yes? Bien. Vaya. En su cuaderno o aquí en el chat. Okay, escríbalo. Number one, it says, complete each sentence with the correct form of the verb in parentheses. Yeah, so we have some verbs in parentheses. Look at this. We have feed, write, take, cook, fight, play, work, and dance. Okay, so what I want you to do is that I want you to put the verb in the correct way. For example, a zookeeper feeds animals. Number two, computer programmers. Right. Right. Software. With S or without S? S without. with is it. Mm. Computer is it. But computer programmers? Oh, Third computer person. programmers. Mm, uh -huh. They? Right. 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 right, right, yes, right, without S, right, sin la S, without S. Number two. Pro photographer takes Take. photos. Excellent, okay, takes. A chef cook food. Oh, okay, no, okay, let's see. Number three. Oh. Photographers, is it singular or plural? Sí. Plural. 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 Plural, okay. Plural. Look at this, plural, plural, okay. A chef, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. cooks, cooks, okay. Number five, a firefighter. Fight. 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 Okay, number six, musicians. Play. Play. Instrument. Play. Play or plays? Play. 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 Escucho que me dicen plays y escucho que me dicen play. 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 Okay, play. Because play. it's plural. Plural. Okay, next. Number seven. Farmacéutico. Mm. No. Granjero. Oh, granjero. Es work. 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 Ok, porque es. Este. Ah. Hmm. Number eight. Dance. 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 Dance or dances. 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 Because it is singular. Okay, it's singular. Uh -huh. Okay. Entonces, what do you mean? Siempre. To camper. Eh. Ah, el guardián de los sol, el del zoológico. Eh, los cuidadores oh. de, los, de los animales en el zoológico. The mm -hmm. zookeeper. Yes. Zookeeper. 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 Yes, Astrid. 
O sea que siempre, siempre, independientemente del, de la persona, si es plural, va a ir eh, normal el verbo. Si es singular, va a ir siempre con la S. Bueno, Correcto. o sea, dependiendo del verbo. ¿va? Correcto, dependiendo de la, del sujeto. Sí, ok. Ahí depende del verbo, correcto. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Muy bien. Very good. Ok, vamos a otro ejercicio. Aquí venimos y vamos a poner en práctica lo que vimos hace bastante. Ok. Write each verb with the correct S, E, S, or I, E, S. Vamos a ver si se recuerda. Ok. En tercera persona, study is study is. Fish. Fishes. 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 Pass. Passes. 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 Worry. Worries. 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 Explore. Explores. Explores. Bites. 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 Bias. 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 Mm, bias? No. No. Bias. 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 Porque se recuerda de la, de la, de la regla, ¿verdad? Mm. Yes. Vale, muy bien. Number eight. Help. 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 Number nine. Miss. Misses. Misses. Very good. Number ten. Flies. 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 Number 11. Fixes. 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 Number 12. Watches. 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 Number 13. Likes. 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 Number 14. Place. 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 I have one question. Yes. And worry. Uh, why are no what is worries? Yes. Jose, um, I'm not sure if you were in that class, pero si se fija, okay, I'm going to explain this in Spanish, okay? Si se fija, I a verbos que terminan en la Y, los cuales tienen Y y antes de la Y tienen una consonante. Mm -hmm. Entonces a estos verbos la regla dice que le vamos a poner una y latina en lugar de la Y y le vamos a agregar e S. Y este. Entonces a los que, mire, terminan con Y pero antes de ella tienen una vocal, solo se les pone una S. Uh -huh. Okay. See? Sí? See? Sí. Yes. Muy bien. Very good. Any other question? Questions? Doubts? No? Okay. Let's move. Okay. Uh -huh. Now, let's see. Manuel and Lila Vega, what we are going to do is we are going to complete the paragraphs with the correct form of the verbs in parentheses. Lo mismo, los verbos, guys, okay? Manuel and Lila Vega have, because it's plural, a busy lifestyle. Mira, cuando usted tiene un estilo de vida bien ocupado, se dice busy lifestyle. Aquellos que pasan solo ocupados, que pasan, no, y tengo que hacer lo otro, tengo que hacer aquello. Se dice, I have a busy lifestyle. Ok. Manuel is a doctor at a hospital. He works at night. So he goes to work. Goes to work. Uh -huh. And 7 p.m. And... And come oh, home yes. at 7 a.m. Uh -huh. His, His wife, wife Lila, Lila works at bank. At a bank. She, she goes, goes to work. She goes at 8 a.m. At 8 a.m. And comes home. 
at 6 p.m. 6 p.m. Very good. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. They don't see it. Other other. During? Because, yeah, they don't see each other a lot during the week. Ellos no se ven el uno con el otro. La semana. Durante la semana. No se ven mucho el uno con el otro durante la semana. Mire, no se ven casi. Okay. Manuel and Lila also have, have uh, two children. Two children. Muy bien. Two children. Luis and Carla. Every morning they all have, 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 have breakfast, breakfast together. together. ¿A qué horas? ¿A what time? At uh, 7. 7.30. 30. Then Luis and Carla go, 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 go to school. Are you sure? Luis and Carla go. 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 Oh, okay. Luis and Carla. Very good. And Lila goes, goes, goes to work. Manuel does. Does. Uh, the dishes. Mire cómo se dice lavar los platos. Do oh. the dishes. Do, do the dishes. Si usted quiere decir yo lavo los platos. I do the dishes. I do the dishes. I do the dishes. Uh -huh. And then. Manuel mm -hmm. do, does the dishes and then. Goes. Goes. Go to bed. Goes, goes to bed. Goes, goes to bed. To bed. Carla usually does, does, does her work. Homework. Friends' house in the afternoon. And Louis have soccer. Has. 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 Very good. Has soccer Has. practice. Manuel gets up at 4 p.m. At 6 p.m. He has, has, has dinner. dinner. Okay, with Lila, Luis, and Carla. After dinner, uh -huh, he, goes, he goes. goes to work. He goes to work. Very good. Manuel and Lila have, have a busy schedule. schedule. During the week, but on weekends they relax. Do you have questions? Tiene preguntas. Eh, es algo básico, pero yes. ¿de dónde sale el, el has? Ah, yes. El has, recordemos que este verbo el, es así, ¿verdad? Tenemos el have para I, you, we, and they. Y para las terceras personas siempre va a ser has. Es decir, he, she, and it. He, she, and it. Mm -hmm. okay, okay. Yes. I got it. Okay, Thanks. perfect. All right. Guys, algo también bien eh, importante desde ya para que usted no se me vaya a confundir cuando vayamos como más adelantados es lo siguiente. En inglés tenemos eh, palabras que en su forma plural cambian totalmente. Entonces, si usted ve ahí, dice two children, ¿verdad? Entonces, ¿cómo se dice un niño? One child. Muy bien, one child. Y este nombre, este noun, esta palabra en inglés, en plural, ya cambia y ya no se dice two childs. Children. Se dice two children. Ahora, Tampoco con ese, ¿ok? No. Ya la palabra children es plural. Uh -huh. Así que eso es bien importante que no vayamos con ese error de decir children's a más avanzado, ¿ok? Two children. One child. ¿De qué otra manera se puede decir eh, un niño en inglés? One boy, a child. One kid. Okay, one, one boy, okay. One, boy. one kid. One kid. Uh -huh. Okay. Y pasaría lo mismo, digamos, que cuando decimos person y people. 
correcto. Sí, entonces, cuando decimos, exacto, es lo mismo. Entonces, decimos uh, one person y cuando ya decimos dos personas, ya decimos two people. Ok. Uh -huh. Y también eh, podemos decir two kids. Aquí sí, kids sí tiene eh, plural. Ok. One kid, two kids. Yeah. Child, children. Person, people. Ok. Any question, any doubt, algo más que a mí se me haya escapado y que usted tal vez eh, tenga preguntas, guys. No. Entonces, let's move. I need three volunteers. Three volunteers. Very good. Carlos Israel, Mercedes, and Alexandra. Okay. So, Carlos Israel, the first paragraph. Mercedes, the second paragraph. And Alexandra, the last paragraph. Life on the space station. Okay, teacher. Uh explore one read the article about life on the international space station notice the words in bold life on the space station astronauts uh, on the international space station have a busy schedule every a schedule a schedule every day, schedule. Mm -hmm. every day they wake up at uh, seven o'clock Oh, no. uh -huh. yeah, GMT from okay. seven to eight o'clock. They wash wash up and eat breakfast at eight o'clock in the morning. They call ground control in uh -huh. their countries. After they talk to ground control, their work they begin. The astronauts don't do the same thing every day. They're Schedules schedule? every week. A schedule uh, change every week. Okay. Okay. The astronauts don't work all the time. It they uh, exercise for an hour in the morning and or in the afternoon. After dinner, they have free time. Then it's time to go to sleep. And uh, sometimes this isn't easy uh, because uh, there, the sun rises and set uh, 17. 16. 16. Uh, time is the, on the space station. Station. The astronauts work doesn't end on Friday. They work a half day on Saturday and all day, all day on Sunday. Astronauts are very busy people. Okay, the life on the space station. Tomorrow we are going to continue with this reading, okay? Just because of the time, I'm going to take the attendance, guys, okay? La asistencia, yeah? Alexandra Giselle Corena? Present. Thank you. Astrid Gabriela Navarrete? Astrid Gabriela. Present. Thank Present. you. Carlos Francisco Escoto. Present. Carlos Israel Estrada. Present. Thank you. Carlos Vidal Gómez. Cindy Stephanie Ramírez Rodríguez. Present. Damaris Milagro Hernández. Present. Thank you. Daniela Lisbeth Martínez. Present. Thank you. Diana Beatriz Reyes Ayala. Diana Beatriz Reyes. Ediselda Elizabeth Pineda. Ediselda. Edwin Giovanni Espinosa. Present. Thank you. Fabiola Yamile Díaz Alas. Present. Thank you. Ingrid Astrid Asunción. Ingrid Present. Astrid. Thank you. Jonathan David Sea Leiva. Present. Thank you, Jorge Mauricio Gutierrez Alfaro. Present. Thank you, Jose Alejandro Flores López. Present. Thank you, Katia Mayerli Granados Jiménez. Present. Thank you, Liliana del Tránsito Aguilar Juárez. 
Present. Thank you, Manuel Alexander Aviles Chacón. Present. Thank you, María Vilma Cortés Rivas. Present, teacher. Thank you. Mario Ernesto Guevara Monge. Present. Thank you. Mercedes Isabel Acevedo Quesada. Present. Thank you. Tatiana Abigail Rodríguez Hernández. Present. Thank you. And Jenny Lisbeth Tolosa Cortés. Present, teacher. Thank you. Guys, a todos los mencioné. Yes? Yes. Yes. Okay, guys, I'll see you back tomorrow. Thank you very much for connecting today. I hope you have a good night, okay? Rest. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, good night. Good night. Good night guys. Good night.